So now that our windows are there, we're going to make these fixed windows and glass walls that there are, there are quite a lot of them inside this project. So I separated them in something different. You see that they have a frame that's grossly the size of our existing window frames. And so let's start with this one here. And the first thing we're going to do is to measure these two to see if both are identical to see if we could use uh, a clone of each other or not if they're different of course we can't okay they're not identical we could of course make them identical dividing the complete length into two but you see that the central frame is exactly aligned to one of the floor tiles so that's obviously on purpose uh, because this architecture is all modulated um, so in this case we, we absolutely need to respect that and um, so we need to use one of two meters and one of one meter of 95 uh, so our frame will be exactly in the middle so I'm here trying to estimate the size of these uh, frames oops this frame got caught into the wall as you see but it's quite easy to fix You just remove the host property of the window and it's not part of the wall anymore. So now we're just going to rotate it into place and move it to the right location. You see that quite often I'm using keyboard shortcuts MV for move and RO for rotate if you hover the mouse over the buttons they give you the the, um, the keyboard screenshot to, to press to do it and it's quite fast um, okay this is it more or less except that you see that they are not so thick actually they have six centimeter uh, depth these these frames but they are not uh, six centimeters thick so here we will actually add an extra thickness to our components in order to keep the um, the thickness to six but the width of the frame to two centimeters and in the next ones I will keep the W1 parameter to six uh, so it will already be done that way so here instead of setting the things I just put the default size and adjusting the properties here Okay, this looks pretty good. So we can delete our dimensions and do the next one.
You see that the windows, when you create them, they take the orientation of the last face you hovered the mouse on. So if you hover the mouse over an horizontal face, your window switches to horizontal position. But it's just a matter of... Or you take care of not <coughs> hovering over any, any face, or uh, you just over over... Oops, wrong placement. Not sure what happened there, why I couldn't place this window. But instead of finding why, I got just too lazy and decided to just do it again. For some reason, I don't know why. This window didn't go exactly where I wanted. Probably it got caught inside one wall, a way or another. I don't know, but very often it's quicker to just instead of trying to find the cause of, of a problem, it's quicker to just uh, do it again. Luckily, usually you have like many, many ways to do one same operation. So if one way doesn't work, you just try another way and, and that's it. And it goes faster than trying to always um, find, diagnose the reasons. With parametric design, many things can go wrong all the time. Uh, there are many, many possible causes for, for problems so um, yeah, it really depends on, on the time you want to spend uh, on on these things and here you see that I removed the working plane snap which allows me to snap above the working plane which is what I wanted in this case to already place the window at the right position. Oh, of course, it wasn't 100, it's 95. So let's correct that. Okay, this looks correct. 